Welcome to Smoke Signals, a hard-hitting news program for students, by students. Signals. I'm Luke coming at you with the first solo news desk. And uh, let's go on to Mr. Martin with Wolfpack Sports. What's up, Wolfpack? This is Mr. Martin with your week at Wolf Sports. Believe it or not, junior high basketball starts tonight in Jefferson. Great volleyball season, girls. The 275 Conference Championship girls volleyball team begins district play tonight versus Mound City at 5.30 in the TAC. Be there, be loud, go Wolves. football team defeated arch rival Rockport on Friday night by a final score of 36 to 16. After an 8 to 8 tie going into halftime, the Wolves opened up full throttle in the third quarter to take the victory. The Wolves battle the number two team in the state tonight, South Holt in Oregon. Go Wolves! The boys and girls cross country teams traveled to Maryville, Missouri on Monday for the 275 conference meet. Both teams secured second place and the boys set a new team record. Jayla Irvin set a new school record in 2139 and was all conference in sixth place. Clayton Vernon, Quinn Staten, and Cole Anderson got sixth, seventh, and eighth place to get all conference for the Wolves. Congratulations to the EA Wolves girls golf team for an outstanding season. On Friday morning, they had a state send off before they traveled to Sedalia, Missouri for the state tournament. The girls were able to secure second place as a team, an outstanding achievement. Senior Alex Barnett finished her career 
as All-State in sixth place. Junior Sidney Bruins was All-State as well, getting 13th place. All four girls battled hard, had a great tournament, and the girls were able to secure second place. Congratulations on a great tournament and a great season. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Now we go on to Addie's Adventures where she's trying to find Julia. Julia, I gotta show you. Thompson, where's Julia? I don't know. Man, where's Julia? Wait, I think she's in here. Thank you, Addy. Now we go on to Gare Bear where he's going to be showing us the new art room. I'm Luke. I'm filling in for Gare Bear today, and uh, Miss Meyercourt is going to tell us a little bit about the new art room. Well, we have new windows, a lot more light. We have an awesome new cabinet system. Before this was all just kind of like kitchen cabinets, but now we have like individual storage areas for the kids to work on their projects. Lots of paper mache right now. We do have some under cabinets. We will be using that. We have a single upper cabinet. Again, more storage for project, which is what we needed. And then we have a new TV. And then the ceiling tiles are white. And we'll see about the senior tile situation. Uh, here we have a new kiln room. Tell yes. us about it. We have a new kiln room. Tomorrow we're gonna to test it. We're gonna fire some projects that the kids have done the last few years and see how it goes. And then hopefully this year we're gonna make a lot of ceramics and fire them and glaze them. Thank you for showing us the new art room. Thank you for asking. Thank you, Gare Bear. That was amazing. And uh, now we go on to Claire with student interviews. Hello, everyone. I'm Claire Martin, and I'm going to be doing student interviews this week with the new microphones. Woo! It's extremely loud in here, so I hope you can hear me. OK, let's go. Hello, I am here with Abby. Standing here right now, which way is north? That way. Yeah, I think you're right. Good job. <laughs> Hello, I'm here with Miss Prather. Do you prefer blueberry or chocolate chip muffins? Well, I prefer blueberry, uh, but there must be butter involved. I agree. Thank you. I'm here with Jeremy. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Kit Kat. Good choice. All right, hi, I'm here with River. River, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? At least two to three times a day. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I am here with Shelby. Do you, prefer, do you prefer your eggs scrambled or fried? Fried. I disagree. I am here with Brinley. What is your favorite part about fall? Probably sports. Agreed. I'm here with Jeremy. On Friday, did you see that the mascot was like this tall? What do you think that was about? I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Claire. And now let's go on to top five with me. Uh, hey guys, um, I'm back to my roots uh, from intern uh, theater. And today I'm giving you the top five. Uh, this week it's top five things that are perfectly named. So like an item has this name and that fits that item. And for an honorable mention, I have bed because it looks like a bed, like the word. Uh, we're starting off number five. We have a spoon. Two O's. It just 
it rolls off the tongue good, you know. Uh, number four, we have small, like a small eye. I don't, like, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, number three, we have clock, clock, tick tock, you know, it rhymes. Uh, number two, we have color. I don't really have to say much there. And for number one, we have spork, obviously. Uh, spoon and fork, spork. I couldn't think of another name besides that. And uh, that's top five. Isaac. Connor, I cannot stress this enough. Mashed potatoes is not canon. And also, that bit with Clayton, it's not part of the main story. What do you mean? Thank you, Luke. And now we go on to Cole finds a bit, I guess. So Cole, it's the second quarter. Uh, you've had some really nice bits uh, in the first quarter, uh, but we need to find a bit that you can hang your hat on, something that's just yours uniquely. I mean, I know you help out with Willet. I know you've done some other stuff. So let's start pitching some ideas. What do you got? I thought that hot dog was the <clears throat> Cole, that's what interns do. You know, Martin, there's a lot of cool windows in here. Have, haven't you already done something on Windows? Oh, never mind. I mean, Cole, anything else? I mean, this is crazy that you can't come up with a segment. Crazy? I was crazy once. No, no, we're, no. You know, Mark, we could do something about my shin splints. Everybody in the world knows you have shin splints, Cole. Cole Cooks. Thank you, Cole. That was great. Uh, now it sounds like Ian's going to be prank calling some people. Welcome back, guys. Today we're doing Ian's pranks. Today we're going to be doing phone calls. We're going to phone some businesses. We're going to phone some just some random numbers. We're going to... You know, we're gonna, we're gonna really prank the heck out of these guys. Let's go! Alright guys, the first number we're gonna be calling is Pizza Hut. Hi, this is Pizza Hut. You're speaking to Kelly. What can I do for you? Uh, hey Kelly, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Um, I was just wondering, uh, this is Pizza Hut, right? Yes it is. Uh, do you guys sell pizza there? Um, what kind of pizzas do you guys have? Are you wanting me to name them all off? Yes, please. We have beef, we have sausage, Canadian bacon, we also have pineapple. Is that it? That's all I can name off the top of my head. Okay, well none of those really sound good. Um, can I just, can I get some wings? Now I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm really not that hungry. <laughs> Bruh. What? Oh! <laughs> Number two, we're gonna be calling Jimmy John's. Hello, this is Jimmy John 
Jessica. Oops, wrong number. Hello, this is Jimmy John. You're speaking to Jessica. Oops, wrong number. Hello, this is Jimmy John. This is Jessica. Oops, wrong number. Can you stop calling? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really trying. I just, I can't get the number right. Oops, wrong number. Just gotta cut the video, cut the video. Random number. I think this one will be a good one. Hello? Hey, uh, who am I speaking to right now? Greg. Greg, hey Greg. Um, do you have a, you have a dog, right? Yeah, yeah, Rufus, Rufus. Um, so I hate to inform you, but me and my buddy, we were on a fishing trip earlier, and um, we hit Rufus with our truck. So. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being serious. No, not Rufus. Yeah, Rufus. Dad, somebody's on the phone right now. They said they oh crap. Oh. Um, hey. Hey, I'm sorry. It was it's a prank. It's for our uh Oh, Prank. All right, guys. So for the final one, we're just going to type a random number. We're going to see who answers, and we're going to mess with them. All right. So let's just Hello. Hey, is your refrigerator running? I said, is your refrigerator running? Do you know who I am right now? I am the leader of the mafia. I have connections. I'm. So, uh, it was just a prank. Is this like it, it's for my? It's for. I don't, um, I don't care what it's for. You and your stupid red hoodie and your headband. Who? How did you know that? Yeah, your headband does not match your eyes. Guys, I don't think, I don't think that guy was messing around. Oh, crap. Hello? Hey, I hope you know who you're messing with. I'm sorry, man. It was just, it's for, it's for a, it's for a school project. I didn't, I didn't realize who, I didn't mean yeah, to make yeah, any yeah, enemies. Yeah, well, they're on their way. Who's they? Uh, uh, thank, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna end that there. I'll catch, uh, I'll, we'll, I'll catch, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, in Ian, uh, Ian's pranks. FBI, open up! Thank you, Ian. Uh, that was a little mean, but I'll look past it. And now we go on to Tommy with Raisin Revenge. Tommy. 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 What? How have you been doing since it happened? Well, I thought I was doing fine until one day I was in Mr. Piper's class and there I sat in Mr. Piper's class minding my own business when all of a sudden I looked up and noticed him eating something, but not just anything, a grape. Fear began to run through my veins as I began to shake and I- Let's start with this. What do you see? Oh my gosh. Do you see it too? It's the grape! How much time do we have left? Actually, our session isn't over for another 30 minutes. And honestly, I'm not listening. I have to go. But Tommy, we're not done yet. I, 
I have to leave. I'm sorry. Something felt weird. Suspicious, as I may say. I felt, though, as if I was being followed. I needed a break. So I did what I would do any other normal day. I took a moment, sat down, and got out my snacks. Sweet and salty mix. As I opened the package, I began to pluck out every single raisin that was in my hand. Because nobody even likes raisins. I mean, they're just dried up grapes anyways. I finished off the rest of my snack pile of M&Ms and peanuts. Then I got up and began to head back to my locker. But first, I walked over to the trash can in the lobby and threw away their raisins. Since we only had two minutes left of school, I took my time as I walked back to my locker and relaxed. Once I got to my locker, I grabbed my backpack, I grabbed my lunchbox, and I headed out the door. That evening, when I got home from school, I sat down at my kitchen table and had a bowl of my favorite cereal, Fruity Pebbles, when I noticed something. I noticed it. The raisin. I held it up to my eye as I examined it and set it to the side, not thinking anything of it. Thank you, Tommy. That was very intense. And that smoke signals this week. You just watched the first solo news desk. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, hold on. Cool. We, we just finished eating. <laughs> <laughs> I have a microphone for you. Hello everyone, I'm Claire Martin, and I'm going to be doing student interviews, but the bell just rang, so I could be hurt, I have to- Ah! <laughs>